Hello, hello, hello. It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stamina Up Demonstrator here in the UK. I'm back for another Coffee and Cards. I don't have a live video for you today, but I thought you, know, you might like to see some new goodies. So, um, yeah, brand new. These are not out yet. These are from the upcoming Stampin' Up catalogue, the new annual one, 2024 to 2025. So I was lucky enough to, event, to attend an event, the on-stage Stampin' Up Demonstrator event last week, and we get to order early before even the pre-order. So we get a kind of selection of things that we can order, and I looked at that selection and I ordered a few of them. So I haven't even ordered all of the things that we could order, but I've actually forgotten quite i know a couple of things i've ordered so it'll be half a surprise for me and for you i thought you know even though i'm not sharing a card with you today we all love new paper crafting goodies right so i'm gonna open the box with you now i know that some of the stuff isn't in there because it wasn't there in the warehouse when i ordered it they were waiting for them to arrive and they have been shipped and that is the brand new ink pads in the new stampin up in colors for this year but i do have the card stock um, and I know they've been shipped. They just didn't come in this, this brown box. I love a brown box. Let's have a look. Right, okay. So it looks like we have paper on the top. So, oh my goodness, they've packed this well. Right, there is a lot of goodness in here. That's a packet of paper. I think what I'm going to do is move the box. I have a chair next to me onto the chair. Bring the things out. Otherwise, you can't really see anything very well. So that glimmery paper is absolutely beautiful. I'll put that down there. Okay, and I think, if I remember, I ordered this in the new colours. Oh, but there's nothing on the back. Ah, I don't have my new catalogue right with me. What do you say? You don't have a catalogue glued to your side? No, I don't. Not right now. It's in my bag upstairs. Oh, look at these. So I think this is meant to be the new in colours in like a glimmer, 12 by 12 glimmer. How beautiful is that? So this would be peach pie. That one is going to be pop of petunia, petunia pop. That one's going to be pretty in pink, which I believe is an old returning colour. And then we have shy shamrock. That's beautiful. And then splash of summer. No, Summer Splash. Aren't they gorgeous? They are go Oh my God, I love the glimmer paper. <gasps> That's beautiful. I can't wait to play with that. So they didn't have the info on the back. That's really interesting. I've not seen it like that before. Um, let's have a look. Now, oh, I've got the new, these are called the Shimmer Gems in the same colours, the 2024 to 2026 in colour shimmer gems i've had these shimmer gems before but in different colours and they're lovely so you can see yeah let's get them out so you can see the colours again so i'm going to be using these i've got some uh, of the gems in the in colours at on stage and these are the shimmer gems okay so we have got oh look at that peach pie um I was going to call it Emerald Envy, but it's not a shy shamrock. Uh, Summer Splash, Pretty in Pink and Petunia Pop. Oh, they're so beautiful. Very happy with those. Very nice. So put them away. Let's see what else we've got. Keep those till last. Oh, I've got the new in colour. You know, there's, can you see a trend going on here? I've got the new in colour Stampin' Right markers. And if you haven't seen the new style that was brought out last year of the, the markers, I will show you because they are brilliant. I love these. So they have a new cap and they have a new brush tip end um, and they have a new, um, what's this, the fine tip end. But look at the fine tip end now. It's not a roller ball anymore. It's like a proper colouring pen super useful and colour really well and the brush tip end is lovely look at that so they're the new style pens and I'm gradually building my collection back up to have the new style pens in they are so much nicer to use and I like the old ones right okay so let's pop those that's the ink colours um now I ordered this 
gorgeous stamp set. It's called Country Bird House. And the reason I ordered it, I saw some samples made with this and they've actually used the dies to cut out a birdhouse. Um, Country Birdhouse dies in the sample. And it caught my eye because I'm all over birds and birdhouses and bird tables. They had a stamp set a few years ago and I loved it. It was a bird table one, um, but it was tiny little stamps. This is a proper big stamp. It's got a nice flower. I love the font, hello friend. I'm gonna use that one. Hoping you have the best day ever. Happy birthday. Right. <laughs> Let's just get rid of that bit of cellophane. That was really annoying me. <laughs> okay. So these, oh, look at those. Country birdhouse dies. So you can put little gable roofing on like a gingerbread house. Oh, I wonder if you can make it. I wonder if at Christmas they'll make it into a gingerbread house. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. But these little flowers, you can cut them out. You've got leaves, more flowers. You've got a big bow. I presume that's to hang your birdhouse. You've got a, a stand. So many things. And then you can cut the bird out. I'm going to be playing with that. I don't know what this one's for. I'm very excited. Oh, it's for the front. That's even like a bit of a wood there trunk i would say i'm excited to play with these really excited to play with those so that's those ones and then i ordered one more stamp set as i said i didn't order a huge amount because um there's only so much i can use to start with it we're going away on holiday and then the full pre-order starts for demonstrators in april which is like a week or so away something like that under the moon look at this so you can have the moon you can have the reflection you've got the horizon with a sea you've got a boat dolphins clouds i think this really lends itself to different um tricks with stamping and it's a photopolymer set so you can see through it that's super cool isn't it yes i think that'll be lovely for inking and things like that um i ordered one of the in color ribbons i didn't order them all yet but just to be going on with, I've got the Summer Splash, which is my favourite colour out of all the new ink colours. Uh, we had a whole thing going on on stage where you could go and pop a little ping pong ball in a container pertaining to which of the ink colours you like the most. And my favourite was Summer Splash. And at the end of the three day event, this came out as favourite. Really interesting. Closely followed by the Petunia one. I ordered a couple of the ink colour um stamping blends as well so i've got summer splash and pretty in pink to add to my blends collection and then i think i'm getting to the end but i've got these these are part of another suite i ordered these on their own aren't they lovely they are called the industrial trinkets and they're like i don't know they're like the old-fashioned studs i'm not sure how you'd stick them to a page glue i love those wouldn't it be nice if they were eyelets? They're not eyelets, but they're gorgeous and they're quite heavy. They're quite um decent, really nice quality. Those little trinkets, great for mail cards. And then I've got a load of paper. I love that all the packaging is now recyclable. So I've got recyclable in that one. That's really good. And then this was the thing that I was most looking forward to seeing. Okay, so I found this super exciting. You may or may not find this exciting. I'm very excited by this. So we've got a new range of goodies um, called ephemera packs. And I ordered one of each of them. In fact, I ordered two of this one and one each of the other three. Um, and they are just die cut elements in lots of different shapes. This one is called Something for Everyone ephemera pack. And the idea is they have a new idea for stamping up to so that we can have uh, crafting available to everybody even if you've never crafted before so they they're doing some new pre-cut cards and envelopes and the idea is that you would put your pre-cut card and envelope there's lots of designs to choose from and then you add some of your ephemera which is any of these and you would add either you know one of these and stamp onto it and they've got some really um lovely stamp sets which are a really good price for a beginner so you could stamp your sentiment on one of those and add it on the front so there's no die cutting involved or there's all of these ones and they've got lots of things on there make a wish here for you hip hip parade today's your day thinking of you lovely things on there so i'm just going to open this one up 
the reason I'm excited about this is because I think these are going to be great for lots of different uh, things, not just for making casual cards, but I am going to be using them on my scrapbook pages as well. So as you can see, this one's got like ice cream and fish and boats and books and birds and balloons. Um, but every page is different. Look at the cute dog. Oh, there's two of that one and one of that one. How funny. I thought they were all different. Oh, there's a cactus. Look at those. So many. No, there's two of each. Two of every one. That's brilliant. Lemons, stars, frames, cupcakes and butterflies and wreaths and cats and dogs. I am absolutely loving these. I've been waiting a very long time for ephemera. I was laughing to myself at the on-stage presentation when they showed us these. And they said, these are called ephemera. And I was like, oh, I think you're, you're teaching to the converted here. You don't really need to teach me about what ephemera is. We've been waiting ages to have some lovely kind of extra die cut pieces that you don't have to have a die cutting machine for if you don't have one. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy. So let's have a look at the floral. Now, we got to craft with these when we're on stage and I have a couple of cards coming up over the next couple of weeks that I made it on stage with the ephemera pack. So you'll see that maybe pop up on my Instagram. Right, it'll be there so you may see it. Okay, look at these gorgeous florals. They are beautiful. I'm not a huge, I do use a lot of flowers and then I say I'm not a flowery girl every time but then I am drawn to them and then I thought I'm not sure what these are going to look like and the cards were great I literally used a die cut like this with a piece of a leaf and then um, a label and a stamp and came out beautifully I was super happy with it so I'm looking forward to playing with them and see what we can make and taking them to classes as well so that's the floral one. We've looked at all the different elements on that one. This is label one is really good because there's so many different shapes. I think you can find one to match whatever sentiment you want. Oh, open it up. So I'll give you a quick show you. So these are all different labels and they all just pop out as you can see like that. So two of that one, two of each again. Lots and lots. So super useful. And they match. So that one matches one of the flowers in here. I know because I made a card with that flower. Yeah, happy, really happy with those. Scrapbooking, they're going to be amazing for. Look at these. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm happy with these. Let's see how they work when we use them. Well, I've used them already, but on scrapbook pages would be interesting. Right, so I bought two of these because I thought words, I need those. I need words. We all need words. So let's pop this open as well. Thank you for being my lifelong friend. Make a wish. Here's to you. This is a confetti sparkle streamers kind of celebration. I'm so proud of you. Right, okay, make a wish. Oh, let's take it out because it's quite difficult to see. Okay, so two of those. This is what I was interested in because if I put this on a scrapbook page, it's going to look beautiful. So we've got hip, hip, hooray. We've got today, celebrate, congrats, oh, hey, and birthday and wishes, and then more. More of them that would be good for either pages or cards. You are the icing on the cake. What a milestone. And then more different die cut words. I think these are going to be super popular. Howdy hey. That would be great for a scrapbook page with um like um, a woody Toy Story theme. <laughs> Beautiful for you. Love you happy. Oh, that's a nice one, friend. Yeah. So... I am going to pop those in their own little envelope now, I think. Ready to keep. 
I might use it in a class too. There. Put those on the top. So those are the new ephemera packs, as I say, but all four kinds. Um, because I am going to use those. They're brilliant. So they've got different names. The words one is set is saying something. The labels are called labels and layers. The flowers are fully flowering. And this one is something for everything. For everything something for every occasion something for everything so those are those and then i had one more thing that i purchased um and you can i could get this as part of a big suite in fact it was part of a big double bundle with these stamp set and dies and another stamp set and dies and i wasn't so keen on the other stamp set and dies so i bought the things individually you can bet your bottom dollar that somebody's going to make something amazing with the other stamp set and dies and i'm going to need that but currently, that was just the one I wanted. But I was in love with this paper. Some people got this as a freebie on stage. I got some different paper, um, which I have. Have I posted that anywhere? I don't know. But I got some little six by six called Lily Lily Pad Lane, which is super cute. They were, that was one of my freebies. And um, I got a couple of stamp sets and all sorts. But this paper... It's so nice. Look at the texture. It looks 3D, doesn't it? It's just paper. Look at that. Oh, that looks like a beach house or something to me. So you can see why it probably goes with the bird house set. Wouldn't this be great background paper for taking photographs? I think I had a piece like this. Uh, I got as an off cut of wallpaper and I was using it for taking photographs years ago and it looked exactly like that. <laughs> it's amazing what you make with, make do with. Look at this. It's all distressed wood is what it is. I'm in love with this. I'm going to have to have a couple of packs of this. One pack to keep and stroke and one pack to cut up and use. Tell me I'm not on my own by doing that. I have got a lot better though. Since I joined Stampin' Up! and I'm making so much more, I don't keep one to stroke anymore really. I just chop it all up. <laughs> but it then means that I can get more if I've used it. But I do like this one. So that's where I'm at, people. That's called the Country Woods Designer Series Paper. I'm really happy with what I've got on my pre-order, um, my pre we call it the product purchase premiere pre-order and then all the other demos who don't choose to go to the event they can do their pre-order um in april and then customers get to order what's the catalog goes live in in um may however pre-order is open in the beginning of april which is just around the corner and if you would like to pre-order you just need to join my team as a demonstrator um and the link to do that is in the description box down below. Don't be put off by the demonstrator title. Lots of people join just for their own benefit and they don't sell products, they don't demonstrate, they just do it as a hobby. And lots of people do, like me, they do it as a business. So there's something in it for everybody, but you can always take advantage of the starter kit, which is always an amazing deal. So it's um, £130 worth of any product you like for £99 uh, with free shipping. And you could put everything you want from the pre-order. Anyone is interested who lives in Europe and they're interested in joining up, joining my team, and they'd like to see the pre-order goodies, just message me. I'm more than happy to help you. Anyway, enough of the splurge about that. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some new things that are coming up in the new annual catalogue. So much fun. Can't wait to play. Just need to get the rest of these ones add to my collection it's a good way of doing it with these just get one every now and again and you'll really soon build them all up got some pretty ribbon and some pens and the gems so that's another trick as well if you are going for a starter kit and you don't own a huge amount of crafting stuff get things that match and then you can craft straight away and not think oh i don't have this or i don't have that because if you have the cardstock and you have some paper that might go with it, and you have the right colour, either pens or inks, you can start straight away. Um, and the shimmering paper. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I got on my pre-order. 
If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you like the best out of it. Or if you'd like me to see me create with some of it, tell me what you'd like to see me create with. That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am gonna be away. I won't be live for the next two Tuesdays because I'm away. But um, yeah, I have videos coming up for Tuesdays and Sundays um, for the over the Easter break. So do tune in for some more crafty inspiration. Um, and I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye bye.